This is our home for the next 48 hours to take on a multi-species challenge. Oh, whoa, that's a lot of job. You have to be quiet, no messing up. To complete this mission, we had to work as a team, with both of us needing to catch each species before checking it off. Chub and Barbel being the bonus fish of the challenge. Oh, oh, don't panic, <laughs> don't panic. Could this be the moment of truth, guys? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It, oh no, <laughs> no, no. Damn, it's bigger than I thought. Right, we've just arrived at Tranquility Treehouse, but we're not staying in a treehouse. We're staying at a place called Poacher's Perch. It's one of the cabins they've got on site. And apparently it's completely private fishing for when you stay here and it's you've kind of got the lake to yourself with the other guests. So let's reveal. Go on, open it. Ooh. I'm getting in that. All right, should we go inside? Yeah, let's go have a look. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad for fishing, is it? I'm excited. This should be fun. Get the rods out at night. We can literally sleep in a nice bed. We're going to just try and catch as many fish as possible in this lake in 48 hours. Our first task was to get the fishing gear organized as quickly as we could. Well, for some of us. Making sure to keep as focused as possible. The issue is the run to the rods. <laughs> you, <laughs> you would fall from the top straight onto one of these stones on your kneecap. I did that in. And then roll. Wait, where did I did do that? Oh, I did that on the did canal. That, yeah. Bro, bro. Grab it. <sighs> Who's catching first? I think I'll catch first, but I, I. I don't think it'll be anything special. I think Danny will probably come in with the special fish. I think mine's, I'm calling it, mine's gonna be a roach and it's gonna be like that big. We targeted a different species for the first day. I went for carp and bream while Callan concentrated on catching smaller fish like rudd and roach. Fish? Oh, there was a fish. Oh, oh. fish, fish, I was right. A roach! <laughs> well, you're off the mark with a beast. Goodbye! Oh, oh my goodness. Good one bream for you, one roach for me. Well done, babe. Breamy. It's only going to get bigger from here. Oh, did it just throw on you? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's a, that's a much bigger one. Oh my gosh. Now that is a sizable one. With our first feeder session over, I ticked off Rudd and Danny had found the bream hole. I think I'm gonna pack the feeder gear away now because the cart rods might take slightly longer to set up and get ready for the evening so we can have our rods out all night and be in our little hut for the evening. And yeah, just chill out a little bit. I concentrated on getting my rods out for the evening as I always need more time than Danny. Lovely jubbly. I don't even know where I'm going with this second rod. I actually haven't got a clue. She just has a way of catching fish no matter the circumstances. And anyways, she was collecting our dinner from the sponsors of this video, HelloFresh. Fortunately, they had sent us another box full of fresh ingredients with step-by-step -step recipe cards to follow. Steak and chip night. This setup was perfect for us and provided the energy we needed for the challenge without having to worry about meal planning for the weekend. You can even pause your subscription while you're away. But for us, there was no need. It actually helped us out more by bringing it. Imagine I got a run now. I'd actually be well sad. Get 60% off your first box using the code WAKE60. Disgusting. That's going in as well, by the way. 
I'm not editing that out. And free desserts for life. The link will be in the description. This is how we put the jacuzzi on. We're using wood to heat it up. Very, it smells amazing. Hopefully that is enough. Ow! To keep it alight. With our bellies full, it was time to get my rods out for the evening. Working as a team to make the process a little quicker, as there was a jacuzzi waiting for us. She's baiting a spot over there. We would wash in line and it would be amazing, but there is so much wildlife that flies through here, ducks and um, geese that kind of just fly through this path. So it's not worth risking, but it does mean Danny's gonna lower her rig in rather than casting and maybe getting it buried in something. Oh, it's like... It's hit the max. <laughs> it's hit probably like six. Max temperature. Oh, that's too hot. How are you sitting down? That is so good. <laughs> it, told, it told us not to get in at 40 degrees because it's really bad. And we have now got in over 40 degrees. <laughs> I think I might faint. Is that hot? I hope we're not just like cooking yet. <laughs> we are cooking. That's exactly what we're doing. Fish? Yeah. It's a bream. Yeah. Fluffing bream. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just cast in the dark. Yay! After catching a few bream, we realised that casting from the cabin was our best option, and to avoid them would require larger baits. Millionaire shark. Zillionaire. Zillionaire. Oh my god, imagine if we were a zillionaire. Well, we had a really nice, comfortable sleep last night. However, in true English style this morning, it's raining. Great. Hopefully it clears up. The weather eventually did clear up and we were back to the feed of fishing business. I'll tell you what, it's probably the first time I've ever fished somewhere that is so blue. Of course, they dye the lake this color. And I think it's to stop the weed because it had massive weed problems um, a few years ago. We're gonna try this island now, today. Give that a go, see what there is to offer. Hopefully there is some bream. I can't believe I'm saying that. That's probably the first time I've said, hopefully there's some bream. <laughs> Do you mind? That's our maggot. Getting them awake. I'll bet you a scratch card that your next fish is a bream. Deal. Watch it be like a 20 pound carp on the feeder. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry if it is. Well, it's not really happening for us right now. I, I, I don't really understand. We're getting small knocks, but I think it's just by really small fish. I don't know if the bream are active around here. And well, Danny's not catching roach or rud or anything, but back at the cabin, it was pretty wild and pretty good fishing yesterday. So maybe we take a walk around with a stalking rod, see if we can find a carp and then head back to the cabin. Oh, whoa, there's yes. loads of chub. Oh. You have to be quiet, no messing up. We've literally just spotted like a whole load of chub, like the entire family of chub that I've lives in seen here. That many all in one one area. Yeah, let's get them feeding and see what happens. Uh, we might have to come back to this spot. The bird life has actually destroyed our spot. All of the chub have just disappeared. Luckily enough, we spotted some carp feeding further down the lake and had to give it a go. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at the bend in it. That is fighting really hard, actually. I have to come over here, sorry. 
Oh, babe, it's it's actually a good one. Oh no, oh no, oh no, it's a good one. And it's just going. Yeah, that's a nice fish. No. Snagged in the belly. <sighs> Goodbye. Oh, damn it. I'm actually quite gutted. That would have been a proper cart to get me off the mark, but clearly not. I was pretty disheartened at this point, but Danny was in her element. Oh, I'm on. Yeah? Oh, whoa. oh my god! <laughs> that was insane! It like, just went whoa. Of course the fish was hooked perfectly this time, and it wasn't a bream like I hoped for. Mate, it was so cool. I'll bet you a scratch card that your next fish is a bream. Okay, deal. I lost the bet. Don't know if you remember. You should have had more faith in me. There you go. Well deserved. Back to my heading hole. Well, I think we know where the carp are now. The oxygenated water is probably what's keeping them here. And the good thing is we can cast to this spot from our cabin. So I think it's probably best to try for other species like the chub, roach, bream to get those ticked off because we can easily fish for these carp overnight. No chub left, I can't see any. We really had a chance for the chub and we didn't get it. I never thought I'd say this, but I was determined to catch a bream. My eyes are going funny staring at the tip. Oh, I think I'm in. I'm in. Oh, I come off. Danny, it come off. And it felt like a bream. Oh, please be a roach. Nice. Are you sure this isn't a rudge? Everyone double check and confirm. <laughs> <laughs> I've got something. Oh my gosh, if it's a rudge, we are in the money, babe. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's really happening now. We're just ticking them off the list as we go. That was two minutes apart. Oh, what a beast. <laughs> Ticked off the list, I guess. Sorry, Danny, sorry, but I have a fish. There is a so fish, no way. Oh, Danny, oh, it's a bream. Danny, it's a bream, it's a bream, it's a bream. Don't panic, don't panic. Could this be the moment of truth, guys? It's a big bream. Look at the size of it. Yes. It took me a little while, but I, I caught a bream. It's actually quite a slab, to be fair. They're just horrible creatures. I don't know. I just don't like them very much. But in this challenge, kind of difficult for me for some reason. Oh, it's so disgusting. Oh, no, no, no. Bremney, that's what they call it. I mean, I'm really happy. It means I don't have to fish for bream anymore. Oh, look at these hands. Right, you want to feel these hands? No. Listen. Bream slime. We did it though. <laughs> High five? No, I'm good. No. It's going oh, okay. good. I'm going to wash my hands. At this point, I had actually completed the challenge. I was just waiting on Callan, as per usual. He still needed a carp and a roach. I thought I'd find you at the jacuzzi, my darling. Is it that time? To be honest, I don't blame Danny for wanting to go in there. It feels really nice, actually. And yeah, we've just been fishing all day, so a jacuzzi wouldn't hurt, would it? I am going to get the carp rods out, though, first, of course. And then I'm going to chill, knowing that my rods are fishing and that I'm fishing. 14 and a half. That was good. We like that. Regardless of the challenge, we were having a blast and it was the fishing getaway we needed. The lodge was comfortable and our rods were out, hoping for one last surprise before leaving. All I had is bream in the night babe on your rod but someone was sleeping so i dealt with it 
but what I didn't tell you is there is actually a carp in this link down there. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. My rod. On your rod. <laughs> that you didn't wake up for. I did actually call you and uh, there was no answer. Babe. Jesus, why is he so angry? Oh yeah. Oi. Hang on. Let me unzip first before you look. And now you can look on what you missed out on. Oh my god. <laughs> really nice, but diddy. You didn't think it needed that big of a sling, no. You could have kept him in the sink. <laughs> What a really enjoyable weekend me and Danny have had. Fishing straight out the lodge. What more could you ask for? A roach. I would ask for a roach as that was the only fish that we both didn't catch. I'm counting the carp. Make sure you subscribe so we can do this more often. If you don't, then we can't. And no cool videos for you, so take your pick.